Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short video where I'm gonna talk about Toronto condos. We're gonna cover the question of, are they a good investment? And looking at this, I want to just pose the question, are you investing for monthly cash flow or are you investing so that the property appreciates and you can eventually sell it down the road? Now, during this video, I'm going to work under the assumption that you're investing for monthly cash flow, although the appreciation is somewhat important for you as well. So we're gonna discuss several things. The first thing is that when you're analyzing a unit that you do wanna purchase, look at the rents. Agents actually have access to it. If you were to give me a specific building address, I can look at the history and see how much a typical one bedroom, one washroom would rent for and how much that rent has even appreciated over the years. And as well, it is important to recognize which buildings rent very quickly. And now at this particular point of time, we're seeing that uh, virtually every area is gonna rent very, very fast. From the time that you post up an ad for a property for rent, you should easily have a tenant by two to three weeks. And if you don't, don't, then you're definitely asking way over market value. So look at the history, ask your agent just to do some research on that specific building. The second thing you want to look at are the maintenance fees. It's very common that maintenance fees do go up every year. So ensure that the building that you're purchasing in does not have units where the maintenance fees are rising significantly each year. If that's the case, I would not recommend that you purchase into this type of building because your cash flow numbers and your evaluation could be very different now than in five years from now. As well, recognize that different buildings will cover different things for their maintenance fees. So ask your agent for the maintenance fees that are advertised, what is it covering? What utilities will it cover? And what utilities will it not cover? And you can even go so far to actually find out from the seller what the typical utility fees are like on a monthly basis. The third thing is appreciation. Now, if you're analyzing a specific building, it's very easy just to look at the history of it and see how much has it appreciated over the past few years. We're seeing right now the downtown market is the hottest. Condos are going for $1,000 per square foot. And in terms of it, what's surprising is that the rents really don't change too much, whether you buy something downtown or you buy something, for example, by Young and Shepherd, um, given that they're about the same square footage in bedrooms and washrooms. And the fourth thing is the status certificate. So when you purchase a condominium that's resale, you will get a document from the seller called the status certificate. And what this will uncover is things like how much money is in the reserve fund, if the building is currently engaged in any lawsuits or anything that you would just want to avoid. If there is a balance in the reserve fund that is just unusually low, then your lawyer will point it out for you. And this is a very, very bad idea to purchase a condo in a unit with this issue because a very low reserve fund typically results in higher maintenance fees down the road. So you want to ensure that you know what you're purchasing into. Again, if you're to ask me, I would not recommend that you buy a pre-construction condo right now because we've seen builders really just raise the prices over the past few months. Downtown, there's builders that are charging as much as like $1,200 per square foot for a building. And in terms of area, if you're looking to invest just specifically for cash flow, I would not recommend that you buy downtown. You would be better off buying it something like Young and Shepherd or just something that's either around like a, a known school or a subway line because again, the rents do not change much. As an example, like a typical one bedroom, one washroom downtown is gonna rent for about $2,000. And if you buy the same thing by Young and Shepherd, you're gonna pay less for the condo and you're gonna rent it for something like $1,900. Again, it does not change much. I hope all this information was helpful, guys. Um, if you can think of anyone else that may find it useful, just forward the email to them if you receive this by email or copy and paste the video link that's on YouTube. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe. Don't forget to comment. I read all comments and I appreciate them and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.